It is your turn. It is your no. Go. Steve Spurrier come up with a little more magic after a wildly disappointing year, and is this the last time around for the old ball coach? He might have the team in place to get the job done and get to Atlanta, but there needs to be a little bit of tweaking. So here's the deal with the 2015 Gamecocks. The quarterback situation's never settled under Steve Spurrier, but he has the options to rotate around. The key to the O this year is going to be the line that has to be rebuilt on the left side. But the skill players are there, especially at receiver, to hopefully lead to a more explosive attack. Defensively, six of the top seven tacklers are returning to a defense that should be far more dangerous and far, far more aggressive. The linebacking core has the potential to be a killer, while the anemic pass rush has to hope for the great incoming JUCO class to make a little bit of an impact right away. Now, with three starters back in the secondary, expect a bounce back year from this D. But it all starts with a pass rush. The Gamecocks came up with a horrendous 14 sacks in the season and never got consistent pressure on the quarterback. By comparison, even with a banged up Jadavion Cloudy, USC came up with 25 in 2013 after ripping it up with 43 sacks in 2012. So can Spurrier get South Carolina to the, South, the SEC title game again? He can get them close, but it'll all come down to the September showdown against Georgia. The Gamecocks have to go to Texas A&M, Missouri, and Tennessee, and while they get LSU from the West, at least it's at home. However, the SEC road games are a killer, including that Georgia game. So expect nine wins and a good overall year, but not an SEC championship. I'm Pete Futek. To dive deeper into the 2015 South Carolina Gamecocks, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.